This is Professor Raymond Noby. History will reflect that I am the wretched soul responsible for awakening a Kandarian demon. I beg you to perform the following actions in order to prevent its further spread. The first thing you will require is a map to the lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian Dagger. The pieces of this map are hidden nearby. Find them. You know, it would now suck. I see how bad things actually are. If I was in a similar situation where I have to find pieces of a map, the dagger, and some book to just get rid of demons, I know for a fact I'm going to have so much trouble. Ooh, shotgun, yes. Amulet, I definitely need that. What's this? Do I want a staff? Yes. Because then I'll be like, you shall not pass. This is Lover of Ladies here. Welcome to the first episode of Evil Dead. Yes. I'm here. About to kick some demon ass. Because why not? I'm playing as one of the hunter characters. A.K.A. You know. The one that deals a lot of damage points. Kelly Maxwell. Which by the way. She's actually a favorite character of mine. From Ash vs. Evil Dead series. Not because I have a fat ass crush, but you know, she's cool. Right now, I am trying to find one of the pieces of the map. I know it's near, what, Harry's houses, so I have to go over there sometime. But I'm trying to find as much supplies as I can from my, my, from my own self. Supplies meaning amulet. Which, that acts as a shield, so when I do get attacked by these demons, I'm not as hurt as much. I'm also trying to find these, not med kits, but they do act like health packs. They're called Shep Shepherd's Cola. That definitely does help bring some of my health back when I do get attacked. Nobody else is allowed to die. Got it? I know I said I was going to play any multiplayer games, but it's the spirit of Halloween. And number two, why wouldn't I play an Evil Dead series? Along with playing all my other scary games. I mean, Man of Medan ended. And I figured, what else can I do to bring some spookiness to my channel? And that's when I thought, okay, Evil Dead, why not? I actually got this game a couple months ago, back when my work wife was mentioning to me about how she got this game for her PlayStation 5, and she wanted me to try it, since she wanted to play with me. Well, I did get the game, I've been playing it, but have I been playing it with her? No, we have yet to play the game together and I'm already a good number of levels so Coming she definitely like oh shit yeah I just killed a demon Harry's houses oh we're here oh yes thank goodness I needed it wait what's this handgun yep So, I'm like a good level 25 with Kelly Maxwell. So, one thing to know about this game is it does have its cute little quirks and also its annoyances. Starting with how I wish Evil Dead had way more dedicated servers when it comes to people leaving mid-match. Excuse me! Oh shit! Oh my god, these demons were ganging up on me. How fucking rude. So, oh shit! We're not leaving a trail of blood and guts behind us. We're keeping Michigan moist. I just love how the character the is so immersive. The map has been found. Continue yes. and find the next. 
I'll take this sword because it has higher damage points. But yeah, I just wish that it has dedicated servers because earlier I was recording a match. And it was going great until suddenly someone decided to leave. And because of that one person leaving, the whole match ended up being cancelled. So Evil Dead, please, work on a dedicated server where if someone leaves, immediately the person who played that character would get replaced by another character. The survivors have collected another portion of the map. An admirable effort, but there is still much to be done. Sorry, not another character. Be p replaced by another player or even an AI. Because I just don't like how I am doing so good in the match, and yet the match has to be cancelled because someone decided to leave mid-rage. Like, that's just... that doesn't make any sense to me. What I also notice, it hasn't happened as much compared to the beginning. But I did notice that it does tend to lag a bit. I don't know if it's because of my internet specifically, which I doubt it, since I do have the highest gig internet. Thanks, Comcast. But when things get a little bit chaotic, that's when it gets laggy the most. Which leads me to the same point. We need dedicated servers to avoid any mishaps like that. What I do like about this game, I mean, yes, there's multiple different levels. I do love how every single time I do the same map, there's always a different outcome. So it's not boring in any way, shape, or form. And in all reality, oh shit, asshole. Bro, don't jump on me like that. That's how you get killed. The sugar is making my teeth tingle. Now, you notice how I've been collecting these little pink drinks? Well, um, let me see here. Oh, they actually changed the menu a bit. That's pretty good. So, let me see here. It's been a while since I actually did play this game, but... That's... How would I... hold on, because there's there should be a way for me to upgrade, right? No? They actually did change the menu, because I know when you press the D-pad, you're able to upgrade your levels of health. Ooh. No good. No good. Your levels of fear, which helps you to not be afraid as much, but... Let's see where I need to go from here. Uh, Jake's Gas and Go. I need a car, so... Let me see here. Where's the car? Ah! Yes, right here. I do love driving in this game. It's pretty hilarious. Sometimes, if you're not careful, you do end up flipping the car over, and it's actually pretty annoying and awkward to get to said destination when your car is flipped over, so... If you do play with characters, good luck. It, like I said, in the past multiplayer games, it is a very much hit and go when it comes to playing with random possession. people. Only the demon stands between you and the necessary ritual items. The lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian Dagger. Good. Keep moving. You're okay. So far, this seems actually pretty good. We've managed to find all three pages of the map, so not bad. I'm just trying to get as much ship cola and amulet as possible. Because once we go further and further into this mission, there's going to be a point where we can't really turn back. Okay, let me... I don't see anything else, so... Right? Yep, I'm good. Oh, shit!
You know, these demons here, they they definitely do a good job of jump scares. Holy shit. I actually never noticed how they just disappear like that. That's pretty cool. Alright, I think it's time to go because I'm not trying to, you know, be stuck here, so... Come on. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Are we leaving or not? Nah? You know, this is a really nice car and you're just wearing it at man. Come on. Come on, we gotta go. Because if we don't collect the dagger in the pages of the Necromancon in time, we will lose this mission. Now, how do I feel about a timed mission? I mean, I could see why with the ad suspense and also to make sure that we're not OD cheating. But I do find timed missions pretty annoying as well because when I first played this game, I did have a hard time finding certain, certain locations due to the fact that I was very unfamiliar with the map I was on. It took me like a good 10 to 15 playthroughs just to get familiar with these different maps. So when you do play this game in the beginning, you will get a little frustrated, but just keep going after a while. It won't get as bad as the beginning. I just love how you just crash into... Oh, fuck me, man. Excuse me, that's... Oh, shit. And my fear level is, is ganging up, I can tell. What the hell? Oh shit. That is a weird delay. Hold on. Come on, jump. Damn it. Okay, let me... You notice how there's a cloud I'm on the screen? It means that my fear is getting worse and worse and worse. So I'm trying to make sure I light this up. Steal yourself for battle. Because the thing is, if you let your fear level go all the way to the top, you actually do get possessed. And that has happened before, and that was not pretty. Because during the possession, you end up attacking the other teammates. And unfortunately, while they attack you, you lose a lot of your health, so... Next, come on, come on, big boy. Oh, shit. I'll take this. Oh, shit. We got a big boy here. Come on, come on. I'll take that. Thank you. Come here. Honey, you got real oh shit. Where's the other teammates? Why is it just me and him doing all the work? Come on, man. Booty. Straight up booty. Yo, I am so good at shooting, man. Beautiful. Oh, shit! Move out the way- Bye, I'm done. A lot of times, these little mini battles get really intense, especially with the last one, like... Really? See, this is why your ass got jumped. Bullying me? Bye.
You know, that used to really scare me. I'm glad I'm used to it now. Bro. The group has obtained the lost pages. The living are one step closer to defeating the dead. Ooh. Should I? Let me see. Oh, he took it. F okay, fine, whatever. I guess this is what happens when it takes so long. Heads up. Look at this. Yay, thank you. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out how I should level myself. Oh, that's actually... you. Wait, they actually added in a map? <gasps> Bro, I am so happy. Inventory and map. They did not have this before. Holy cow, I'm so happy. Now it'll be a lot easier for me to get to certain places. I'm pretty much happy that Evil did actually fix that because, like I said before, when I played this in the beginning, it was a pain in the ass to find certain locations because of the fact that I was not familiar with the map at all. Go ahead and run. Run home with your tail between your legs. Is there anything for me to take here? No? Nothing here? I'm just looking, just in case. Ooh, cola. How come I can't take any cola? Okay, so down buttons for when I upgrade. Hold on. Fear, health, and you're an asshole. Another thing I like about the Evil Dead game is how you are able to do melee and guns as well. If you're not really good at shooting, you can definitely rely on the melee weapons. And oh my god, I hate when it does that. So you can definitely <laughs> rely on any type of weapon you are you are able to grab your hands on you are definitely not limited to what you can use so that's a very good flexibility to have in this game okay so the dagger is all the way over there i am not near any of my teammates i just love this i really do Nice. So, with upgrading your perks, you press the down arrow, and then you're able to upgrade your melee for more melee attack. Same thing with the guns. Increase your health. Help to reduce your fear. Stamina helps you to run a lot more farther. And then shield deals with the amulet. Okay, so let me see here. What's this? What am I looking at? The matchsticks helps you to... to... create the flames that help you to reduce your fear. Like I said, if you don't do your fear reducing abilities, you will turn into a demon. And your... your teammates will be forced to attack you. Shut up. Me and my friends? Now, I noticed that my fear is getting worse, so I'm going to go try and find a fire pit where I can use one of my matches. Because I'm not trying to get possessed. Yes. And you know you're getting possessed when your fear level is like red. Purple is like starting to get possessed. Oh shit. Look at that, this is a party. Let's go.
this wasn't even activated. I hate fourth-wing people sometimes. Come on. Shit. No, no one's dying on my watch. Get the hell out of here. Cut it out. What the hell? Oh, shit. Hold still. Okay, whatever. I hate when those trees attack you randomly. Because it does take a good chunk out of your health. That shit is so annoying. Yo, you asshole. You really dead ass smack me. Okay, I am running out of bullets and this is not good at all, like Yes, you need Chef's Cola, Tom Mac 1978, bro, like you're dying. That's rude that you just smacked me too. Oh so. You too. I got one bullet left. Alright, melee it is. Come on. Wait, what's this? Matchsticks? I'll take it. Oh, he's bleeding out again! Bro, why? I'm being tag-teamed here! You think I enjoy this? I don't. Yo, is he not doing anything? Am I not? Oh, shit. I'll take the... ship's cola. Oh shit. This is getting bad. I am getting jumped here. This guy is dead. This is not good. You have obtained the Kandarian dagger. Legendary artifact with power to burn undead flesh. What the fuck? Bitch! The team has retrieved the lost pages and the Kandarian dagger. Use them to put an end to the Dark One's reign of terror. Wow, we lost a teammate. Wait, we actually lost two teammates. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, well, I'm ready. Nothing for me here. There's two of us left. Like, that sucks. You mean to tell me we're gonna have to battle the Dark Ones by our two selves? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. I don't know how I feel about this. Because when it comes to battling the Dark Ones, these big hooded creatures, it's very highly advisable to do it with four people. But being that two of our teammates are gone, and this guy is low-key getting possessed, I really doubt that we're gonna win this match. But you know what? I'm gonna be hopeful. I'm gonna be really, really hopeful because I got my shotgun with some ammo. I got a nice little shtick to beat his ass. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let's go. Who the hell? Damn it! This is gonna suck. How am I supposed to? Damn it! This is not what I want. Hold on. Why people drink this by choice? I'll never know. Kelly, run! Oh shit! Damn! Can I? Can I live, please? Can I fucking live? I need this. Thank God, I was able to turn on the light before I got possessed. And my other teammates possessed. This is awesome, I love it! Come on, come on. 
Where you at? Is he coming towards me? Where he at? Oh, he's over there. You know what? Stay over there, buddy, please. I I would appreciate it if you stayed over there. Get out of my face. All right, let me try and attack. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Let's keep going. Come on. Move out the way. Oh shit. Oh, come on. Look at this, look at this. Crazy. Come on. One more, and we'll be able to fully penetrate the defenses. We got this. Oh, shit. Damn. My fear is getting... You know what? I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Like... Okay. One more. One more. Come on. Ooh. And I'm dying, too. Like, my health is getting so low. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh my goodness, we're actually doing it! We're actually doing it! Book will now commence closing the breach unless it is destroyed by the demon. Protect it. We have two minutes left. If we're able to survive this two minutes, we'll be good. Thing is, my health is so low. Come on. Well, it's Sam's o'clock somewhere. Yeah, lucky ass. I wish I had some cola to drink. Ew, this fat fuck is over here. Shit, shit. Stop. Fuck. I'm dead. Now it's up to him. That's really nasty. Come on, Ash. And then there's me, dead, right in the corner. Yeah, I'm dead. Will we be able to do the mission in under 50 seconds? Well, no, within these 50 seconds. Now it's 40 seconds. Come on. How the hell did he manage to get another cola? Yo, I've been gypped. Okay, 30 seconds. These demons ain't shit. 20 seconds. Oh lord, come on, please. Please. Let us win. We need this. The final 10. Look at all those demons gang up on them. And we did it! We did it, Joe! We did it! Amazing, spectacular, one of a kind, original, never been done before. We won. Thank you for watching. This is Lover Ladies, and I'll see you next week.